Hey folks, it's Ray, DCMemorica.com here, and I've got a new quick tip video on a brand new Strava feature that's just rolled out today for a small portion of you. Uh, now what this feature is, is it basically awards you a top tier award, similar to a Calm or a King of the Mountain or the Queen of the Mountain or a course record on Strava for failing the most. By that, I mean that if you fail to achieve one of those words and you fail enough times, you can get yourself the new Local Legend Award, which is exactly the type of Strava trophy I like, given I have so few of the Strava comms. Now, I'm gonna walk through how it all works in pretty quick fashion because the fact that it's a quick tip video. Also, this is available to all users, so free or paid, which is kind of handy, though there are some minor limitations we'll talk about a little later on. The biggest limitation, though, won't be free or paid, it'll be where you are. Uh, starting today, this is only rolled out in a handful of US states. I'll put them on list right now at the bottom there. And then in July, they're going to roll out to another handful of small countries. Beyond that, they don't actually have a date when everyone else will get it, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but anyways, I'll show you how it works nonetheless. So what we got here on my phone is the Strava app. The first thing you want to do is go into Segment Explorer. So you hit the Explore button at the bottom there. This brings you up to Segment Explorer. And then you'll go ahead and press that little settings icon on the right-hand corner there. And then you can want to choose View Local Legends Segments Only. Once that's done, you'll see there's that laurel, that's that wreath thing that's next to a given segment. So I'm going to choose one of the segments. We'll choose this one right down here. Click Info, and then you'll see the local legend is listed there, an Alexander Baum, uh, who done it 42 times in the last 90 days. Now, the way local legends works is that it is a rolling window over the last 90 days, and it's simply the most times you've attempted it. You can attempt it 20 times in a given ride or once every single day over the course of 90 days if you want to. doesn't matter. Each attempt counts no matter how they're bunched together or spread apart. It's just purely the number of attempts over a given time period. Oh, hey, actually, in a quick note, if you're finding this video, Video interesting or useful or something like that, go ahead and just whack that like button at the bottom there. It really helps out this video and the channel quite a bit. Now, when I tap on his name right there, you'll see it shows me the all athletes. So that's the total leaderboard. He wins that at 42 efforts over the course of the last 90 days. And I can look at the women's leaderboard as well. And you can see she has that at 29 efforts over the last 90 days. If I go back to the all athletes tab though, I can see down below there in the midpoint, my total efforts on this, which is one, and then down below the overall efforts in this histogram. Now, for free users, you won't see the histogram. This is what you'll see instead, basically just a typical like go and pay for Strava type uh, promo thing. But for paid users, you'll see the histogram there and you'll see your number of efforts compared to the local legend of the right hand side. It's kind of handy, but also for free users, you're honestly not missing very much. Uh, and the same is true for the women as well. Since I'm not a woman, then I don't see my efforts in this same graph right there. Uh, and this is true of any segment. So I can go back here, I can choose a different segment. I'll choose this one right over there and then click Info. And you can see this individual has done it 54 times over the last 90 days. Now, in digging through some of these different stats, what I found is that overwhelmingly, most of these attempts are commutes that are simply recorded, where the person is doing the exact same route every single day or every other day. Uh, and so that makes sense. There are other cases where people are doing it as part of like typical workout rides. Uh, and it usually tend to be that the segments they would trip are near their home, kind of going to and from. And again, that's fine. The whole point of this is to effectively award participation points as opposed to awarding the fastest time points. Now, this is also true for running as well. So I can go switch over to running right there, click done. And now I can search this area again. There we go. And I can choose this one right here, pull it up. Uh, and you can see right there, uh, 51 times for this particular runner. I've actually seen this guy out there. He runs all the time. It's astounding. Um, and in this case, I've done it three times for this particular uh, tag right there. Uh, now for me, I tend to vary my routes a lot and I've got a lot of flexibility in where I go from both my home and the office. So I don't tend to run the exact same or ride the exact same spot every single time, except for commutes. I don't tend to upload commutes. Now, of course, because this video is about local legends, I gotta find a place that I can become the local legend. I gotta find a way I I can get my laurel crown thingamajig, stick it on my head and, and be done with it. And I initially started looking at segments nearby. I looked at a lot of segments actually, like for days I looked at segments, uh, trying to find something I could do relatively easily. The problem here is there are so many commuters that these segments all had like 30 to 40 attempts on them nearby. I did find one with six attempts, but it was kind of a lame segment. And I didn't, I didn't think you would appreciate that sort of lameness here. So I paused, I stepped back and I said, you know what? I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna find the biggest climb I can around here. I'm gonna find the most attempts it can take to go ahead and get to the top of this local legend leaderboard, and I'm gonna do it for you. So with that, I went wandering. And it turns out there's a climb nearby that it has 1,100 centimeters of elevation gain, uh, and it's done 22 times by this individual here in the last 90 days. And so I went out on Monday, 
and I did it just for you. Up and down 22 times, dodging all assortment of dog walkers on this dirt path sort of thing to the top of this climb where it has a view of approximately nothing. Uh, it's it's uh, it's 11 meters tall. That's it. That's uh, approximately that's 1100 centimeters to inches. That's approximately 437 inches or uh, I don't know, like 30 feet, uh, but that's besides the point. Now, of course, to best this, I had to do it 23 times in total, uh, in total over the past 90 days. In my case, I had one previous effort on this, so I only had to, in theory, do it 22 times, but I didn't really trust myself to count to 22 um, that many times, so I just aimed for 27 times. I thought that was a safe number. Once I got to 27, I'd be done. That would give me a buffer for any sort of counting errors along the way, which is probably good because I actually only end up doing it 26 six times despite thinking I did it 27 times. So with my workout complete, I went ahead and I let my Garmin sync over. And by default, my activities are all listed as private and then I set them to public. That's important because local legend status does not include any private activities, it only includes public ones. And as soon as I set it to public, then I got myself my new little local legend crown right there. You can see the laurel. Uh, if I tap on that right there, you'll see my total efforts, 27 in the last 90 days. Uh, and you can see how I rank up on that leaderboard right there. And then if I go back right here, actually to this particular activity, uh, we can crack it open, get more details on it. You'll see the local legend status is there again. Uh, and if I go down again, you'll see also listed down there. And if, and if I tap that there, then I get the, you're the local legend uh, designator right there. Uh, and I can actually see all of my efforts, all 27 of my efforts uh, on this day. Well, I can see the 26 plus the one back on May 3rd. Now in this case, I wasn't going for the calm. I wasn't trying to hit uh, the top there. I made a few like half hearted attempts at it. Um, and I got to seventh on the leaderboard, which I'll take. So you can see all time right there. DC Rainmaker at number seven. Uh, but that wasn't the goal. The goal here was to purely just do it a whole ton of times. And I succeeded in that. And so now I've got this for the next roughly 88 days or so. Also worth noting, if you want to see all the local legend statuses that you hold, you just tap the profile button and then you scroll down to the bottom there and click on segments. And then you go to local legends on the right hand side and you can see all of your local legend titles that you currently hold. Similar to how you'd see your comms or CRs in the middle there. Now, of course, I'm sure some of you or one of you is going to probably go out and try to best this attempt. I would argue if you're going to do that, you should probably do it in style, which is to say that you should do it in, in one sitting like I did. I mean, otherwise it's it's kind of like using an e-bike or something like that. I mean, not really, but that's, I'm just saying, if I did it one sitting, you should too. Anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting or useful, entertaining or something like that. If so, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there or hit the subscribe button for plenty more sports technology goodness. There's definitely more coming. Companies are warming up, the weather's warming up, all the things are warming up and you won't want to miss out on future videos. With that, have a good one.